Carl, when he's standing in this technical area, is, is this the real Carl Robinson? The one that takes his daughter to school and goes home? No, probably not. Um, it's the one that wants to win. We all have our work sort of mentality, but we also have our, our private life as well. But obviously, we get judged externally by what we do here, so most people probably hate me because of it. I was looking over here. This area of the, the technical area is, is, is quite worn. This is that way you spend most of your time well, over the, here. The amount of weight that I'm putting on Fenners. Um, <laughs> that's maybe why the boxers this big. <laughs> um, no, I want to get as close to the halfway line as possible. I want to be as central to the pitch as possible. So I'll use all that, even the seat. I, I use the seat the furthest um, to the middle. So, so this, which, this bottom, one's your the seat, The bottom yeah. right one there, yeah. Um, tempers do get frayed on match days and you, you yeah. have landed yourself in hot water on a couple of occasions. Is that always going to happen with you? I, I like the way how you chose your words quite wisely there. Um, <laughs> <coughs> yeah, it probably will do. I've been sent off once for walking onto the referee at half time. Um, second one was a confrontation here. Stephen Gleeson, the ball come out. Stephen Gleeson and uh, Reedy Johnson were, let's say, exchanging polite conversation. I went in the middle to separate them. Reedy Johnson went down and I got sent off. What do you think of the incident with Alan Pardew and David Mailer? I don't think it's really for me to comment on on what went on, because everything's in, in the heat at the moment, and to be fair, Alan Pardew, he's, he's been great to me. I'm still very, very young doing this job, and what he said afterwards, I think, was a great learning curve for me. A lot of people could have just dismissed it and walked in and said, oh, there was nothing in it, or there was this, or there was that. There was obviously something in it, and he was man enough to come out and say that. Is the home technical area always on the right-hand side of the tunnel? Craig Brown said that if anyone's got a dugout on the left-hand side of your pitch, change it immediately. Why? Because the linesman is on this side, as you can see. So why, at your home pitch, are you giving an advantage to the opposition manager? Now, that's not saying that you can affect the, the, the referee's decisions. I'm trying, I think I'm trying to say that. But you can talk to the, ref, the assistant referee. <laughs> but you can, you can stand here and you can say, well, was he offside? Or, good decision. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> yeah. So before you get into your, your dugout pre-match, you meet the manager over there and uh, you do your handshakes. Last week's game, Sheffield United, Nigel Clough, going in for it. I'm Nigel Clough, you're Carl Robinson. That's what you're going for, is it? Good, now, luck. Uh, good luck. When do the mind games start here? Because if I, <laughs> if I, you know... I, so you're thinking that the presidential one, aren't you? The, well, yeah, the, I mean, that one? yeah. And then, so you're winning that, aren't you? You, you, know, you you've got the one up yeah. on me, so I could maybe... I could maybe that one. I could have that one. Well, psychologically, that's, you're looking over your shoulder, yeah. and I'm not. Ah, uh, right. And what about what about any of this? What about any of that? I've had that once or twice. Yeah. Good luck, son. Yes, good. Thank <laughs> 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 so you, gel up your ear. <laughs> no, it's weird. Cause I, I always I just go and say, "Good luck." See yeah. at the end. You know, have a beer at the end of the game. How about the crowd? Um, yeah. You know, when when they get when they're getting on your back, uh, do you hear do you hear those? Is, is there anything funny? No, that, well. It's one or two things being said. Um, obviously, there's the area that I'm from gets called up quite a lot. Um, Scouts, such and such. Mm. And just the week as well, we played Sheffield United away, and uh, being a season, um, after the game, Mrs. had a go at me. I said, What's wrong? She went, Carl, you blanked your daughter. I said, No, I never. She went, Carl, she, was she shouted you at the end of the game, and she was right behind the duck. She was literally, she walked down from where she was. So dad, dad, and I just walked, I, I looked through her, and I was like, well, that's the sort of mentality you have. The, 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 I don't get involved no. in the fans. I can't get involved no. in the fans. I've got a job to do, and I'm so focused on what goes on here that I can't worry about what people say about me. I can't worry about what people think of me. I can't worry about who stood there. I can't worry about that. That's an element that is not in my control. Have you been standing here, and you know, you, you, might, you might be two goals down, for example, and it's not going well, and you just want to go and sit down, but you, you know, you're like, I, I need to be up here. I remember um, Paul Lynch was the best at that. We, we, we were playing Wigan away at Blackburn, and we were, we were getting beat 3 0. And uh, I come down from the stand, and sort of, I seen Paul stood there. He was getting obviously pelters and everything else. And I thought, what a man that is. To be able to stand there and just go, well, I'm with this team. Um, and I went and stood next to him, as if to say, well, listen, if you're going to stand there, I'll stand there with you. And John Gorman did it to me. John got, I remember one of them, well, uh, after the season, we were getting beaten and we stood here and the fans were having a go at me and you could hear the sort of the, the anxieties around the stadium 
It would have been so easy for me just to go and walk back and sit in my dugout and just sort of zip your coat up as if like, well, that's life gone, you deal with that. And that's the power, of the, the power of the technical area, is the fact that you can stand here and be at one with your team. And to be stood in this area and think, well, this is actually my workplace. Just this, what was it, two or three yards by near, near 10, 15, that you, we are, our whole lifestyle and who we are is judged by what I do in this area. Yeah. Top man, thanks for having us in your, Cheers, in your technical area, Carl. Cheers, pal. Thank you, mate. <laughs> <laughs>